Hi there, Liquid Arnold, rendering specialist at Autodesk. I uh, just want to cover how to use this pixel art OSL shader by Zap Anderson to create this retro pixel art dithering shading effect in Maxway. Okay, so I'm going to start off by opening up the slate material editor. And I'm going to use a toon shader to create this effect. So, toon shader and then map to material and connect the to map the map material and then just assign that to the object and then we need to create an OSL shader and connect that to the base tone map of the tune shader okay so now we just need to download the pixel art OSL shader if you want to find out where that is go to the Arnold documentation under OSL shaders there's a, a link here to the github the OSL shaders you go to OSL experimental and pixel art OSL is there I'll put a link in, in the description so you can download it so you go to that file and then just copy the contents go back to max and under the OSL code, you just paste it in there, compile the shader, and there we have it. So if we were to zoom in, you can see it's a screen-based effect, it depends on the resolution that you're rendering at. Um, you can also change the pixel size through the shader, like so. Use a value of 4. And then we can change the shading effect, so the tone curve affects the overall brightness and contrast the effect and we could also offset that value as well so if we wanted more um, white color increase that decrease it I'm going to change the tone curve to like two and the offset minus 0 0.07 and you can see the effect is quite uniform the way the, the pixels are distributed, we can add a little bit of randomness to that just to break that effect up. So if I go up high, you see the effects having, but, uh, I'm just going to just use a low value, something like 0 0.08. Okay, so I'm using the default lighting in the scene to create an Arnold point light. Change it to point. See the effect the light's having on the shader. Let's just make sure the shadows, car shadows, are disabled. We don't need any realistic shadows, and we can also use the exposure of the light to sweep the effect. So I'm just going to change some of these colors. Something uh, more gaudy, some kind of magenta. For that CGA color palette, let me assign color color three, and then for final rendering. So if we open up the Arnold Render View window, set up an IPR. If we was to zoom into the pixels, you can see we're getting some anti-aliasing, which we don't want. So we open up the Render Setup window. So we could either reduce the camera A samples to something like minus two, which will clean that, clean that up and give us that pixelated, harsh pixelated look, or we could change the filter type to closest. Okay, so that's how to create a pixel art shading effect in Max2A. Thanks for watching and bye for now.